how does man confront absolute reality? And so we may can we can begin nowhere else other than where man is, which is now. And so in a sense of segmentation of time and space, your image of who you know yourself to be is here with you. Your body is a part of your moment. Your moment is a holistic intelligence. Understand that there is a reason there many have said to have trust. Because, guys, when the absolute comes into question, the answer is never here. Do you recognize this? The answer is never anywhere where you are not considering absolute experience. And so because you are, there is something within you, within the human experience that knows I must go on to see where my vision leads, you know. You evolve. And so that evolution is in itself a greater experience. Your multidimensionality opens up. The design becomes as abstract. It could be an orange that is just there without having it be peeled and then suddenly an orange that is cut up and you're seeing geometry in the design of what you're consuming. Man is not lost to the endeavor of finding himself. There is a reason they said to do self-inquiry and to be honest doing it. A very wise man once said, abide by the self. And he meant come to who you know yourself to be. Come to that aspect of yourself you trust. And when you are there, become present. See what is the value of your moment. Give yourself a value and see how it will crumble because it is still the moment. The moment is untouchable. You are here. And then considerations and conception adjusts. We must become aware of the attention that is both within us and that which is projected externally. Because the light in your eyes has many stories of where it has come from. But you must see it is you who are becoming aware, for you are the intelligence of the story. And so, how man can continue forth and to sustain deeper thought in regards to recognizing the absolute nature of reality is to actually go and recognize it's an individual process because the individuality is to go on detail. You're observing certain things you've only seen. Imagine those moments where no, nobody's there and you just saw that moment where that bird flew right between the branches in a crazy way. You know, begin becoming aware of uh, how you have seen some things and no one else has seen. And so there's no way sometimes people can understand you, but there's infinite ways you can communicate your understanding. The need is based on the survival of the individual. Move beyond your need and there is no task that needs to be done aside from the awareness to the most directest experience of what is happening in your life. Before you go to that party, recognize life is happening. You are alive. You exist. You are present. Your vision is here. You can be activated. You can recognize. You can see that your real eyes was the peak of realization. Liberation means an ability for your being in its absolute consideration of where it is to be what it is. You are no longer trying to be uh, uh, the, the next person to wear a label on their forehead. <clears throat> Labels is when ideology creates the significance of man rather than his experience. And even though ideology is an aspect of experience, but ideology based on the way different human beings are communicating to one another has a survival that is unique. That means when a person is individual and alone and in solitude, his experience of ideas, his or her experience of ideas is very different than a person <coughs> who is not in solitude and is a social structure where different forms of intelligence are agreeing to an objectivity then beginning the search. 
And so here is where the mystic understood that there was a reason the Himalayas, those caves, were a cocoon of the earth. Because there was a metamorphosis of consciousness. In solitude one recognizes their absolute reality. It is actually very simple because the way it happens is not based on how you are interpreting it. Sometimes words are just words and it is the eyes of man that glow. We need new renaissances of mystical thought. We need new renaissance of fi ways of finding liberation in individual aspects of the system. And this needs to become a harmony where every separate thing is found within the trust of the collective that is keeping it there. Because if ideology is choosing to manifest, do not forget that a spectrum, only one side cannot become manifest. Because the minute you're in one side, you exist based on the knowing of the other. What that means is there's only night when there's only day. We wondered about time, but our creation was our mistake. <clears throat> Remember that all is within the creative experience of the cosmos. Mankind may playfully be said to be the most profoundest thought this existence have because it has brought itself to its emptiness because our self-awareness has a cleansing process it's as if uh, we're not just blobs evolving we are human beings and the way we are given the design and the shape and the way this species is is very very fascinating in the sense that it is giving itself knowledge based on how it's interpreting its world because that is where the essence of multidimensionality lies to see that an honest man never needed anything more when I observed the Tao Te Ching There was a quote there that said the Tao that could be spoken about is not the real Tao. <clears throat> and the profoundity of what that suggested opened worlds in the sense that how things look do not need to suggest how things are. But how things are suggests how things look. Do you see? So we need to become aware. Mankind needs to become aware. There are great thinkers here. We have great technologies here. We have 8 billion new moments of possibility. And so man must not look at its feet too long. You must not think you're lost in certain shoes. You must just see you're alive, pay attention to your existence, take existential responsibility, align, work with your environment, trust the world that you live in and exist in. And then you will see everything will flow. Your reality will be considered smooth. But death will just be a smile from the afterglow. Consciousness does not need choice, to be honest. But the conscious form requires an ambition to be existent. What that means is the presence of the projection that is your reality holds within it an abstract sense of uh, it's never just being you who is making the decision. It's like this is not just you saying these words. There is an aspect of unknown existential quality and presence here. And once you feel it, you actually become comfortable because you begin to see shape has no reason to move. And if shape has no reason to move, that means there could be no judgment for words were just sounds and sounds were just the understanding of listener. Totality may be sometimes fully understood from its lack. 
but don't value your life and how you're living based on a scale of, oh gosh, am I financially abundant or not? Gosh, am I living a good life like that? No, see it like this. See it as you are a being, just just some cosmic existential being that is present in this, in this sector of the universe. And as you're alive, you have a choice in how much you want to acknowledge your experience. Just realize before you judge yourself, there's choice, and that choice is an existential allowance to see beyond the problem. The second chance was the transcendent. In your liberation, the story cannot contain you. Because there are no containers. You are so present, selflessly, empty. You may speak for eons, but still. Complete sun silence. And so you see the being who was an explorer of the fullness of life. And who was the spark in the mystic's eyes. Listen to the world. And move as all. Higher consciousness is not a prophetic act. The intermediary is no longer a person. The intermediary is your whole world, is your whole moment, is your existence here as a being. Become aware of it. For from within you cultivate a knowing that is untouchable. For it is the omniscience of observance. Taken by surprise, your memory was your home. But as causality changed, man turned beyond form. I would like to bring forth certain mantras and certain mantras for the pilots of consciousness.